What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be showcasing the new Malefic deck profile. Uh, this is with the new card that has just been released from the re most recent set, is Malefic Paradigm Dragon. And it's just kind of a retrain set of Malefic Paradox Dragon, but uh, well, like a main deck version of that. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, it's not a meta deck, but it is really, really fun to some of these big, big boss monsters with 4000 attack and just keep beating your opponent down. Uh, so yeah, so the first card we have is... The brand new card which is malefic paradigm dragon and uh, the way this card works is you banish malefic paradox dragon from the extra deck and then you can special summon him if you have a field spell and uh, the field spell has to be malefic world that's his only uh, uh, downside or whatever he also has a, a, a secondary effect where if you have a level 8 synchro monster in your banish zone you can put it back in your extra deck and then special summon it it's just from the movie bonds beyond time where uh, malefic paradox dragon was able to special summon stardust dragon from the banish zone uh, so it's just kind of showing off that card pretty much so you get to have stardust dragon and malefic paradigm dragon on the field once you've summoned the um, malefic stardust dragon first the next speed stick we're running is three of zane's ace which is three uh, malefic cyber end dragon and this one is just a 4000 beat stick again has the same effect needs a field spell to be summoned and then you just banish your cyber end dragon from your uh, extra deck and that's pretty much how you summon them. the next card we have is malefic rainbow dragon which would be jesse's ace uh, and this card, if I can move it up, this card uh, is special summoned with the level 1 monster, which I'll go over now in a sec, but it's just another 4000 beat stick again, has the same effect, you have to have a field spell and all that good stuff. So, But other than that, you're just summoning like uh, 7 monsters with 4000 attack, which is pretty, really cool. Then we have one of the best monsters in the set as well, uh, or in the deck, is Malefic Stardust Dragon. All you have to do is banish uh, Stardust Dragon from your extra deck to special summon him and he ha he's probably one of the only other Malefics to have a secondary effect which is he can defend uh, or or protect a field spell when it's on the field. Uh, he's a level 8 so that's how you go into most of your synchro monsters and we'll get into that uh, now. So the next card we have is Malefic Paradox Gear and what this does is basically it searches out your tuner monster um, if you have a field spell on the field you contribute this card and special summon your Malefic Parallel Gear from your deck and then add a Malefic monster from your deck to your hand. So this is where you're going to search your Malefic Stardust Dragon. I mean, you can go for one of these and go for a bigger uh, Synchro monster, but mainly what you're going to do is go for Stardust Dragon, Synchro the two of them off, and then go for your um, some of your level uh, 10 Synchro monsters. And then the aforementioned Malefic Parallel Gear. It's just basically uh, synchro mo Synchro's with a Synchro monster. Or if Synchro summons a monster from your hand, yes basically that's the way that works you have to, it has to be a malefic monster so you can go for a level 12 synchro or a level uh, 10 synchro and that's the way that um works out so yeah i'm going to show you obviously when you get to the extra you can see some of the extra monsters but other than that you're just using your big big ass speed sticks to um stop your opponent the last monster we run is three ash blossom just to stop your opponent from searching uh, feel free to run whatever else you want but it is good just to stop the next card we have is Malefic Territory. What this does is basically it searches your field spell. Um, it actually, when this card is activated, you can activate a Malefic World directly from your deck. Uh, and then it has a, an effect where you don't, normally you, uh, there are effects where you can only have one Malefic Monster on the field, so it stops that effect. Uh, and then it also defends your field spell as well, or protects it. Um, then we have Malefic World, which is your field spell. And what this one does is instead of conducting your normal draw phase, you get to take three malefic cards out of your deck shuffle them and then your opponent picks one you get to pick that one uh, you get to add the one to your hand the other was right go back in your deck and shuffled the one's terraforming so we're basically running six copies of uh malefic world as well as all the other searches that are in the deck uh, another searcher for malefics is malefic sector which is you can banish two malefic monsters from your graveyard and then search uh, two malefic cards so you can search uh, your field spell or monsters or whatever else you're looking for uh, you're going to use that once per turn. The next one is the Monster Reborn from Malefics, which is Malefic Divide. Uh, a lot of players I've seen is running two of this, but uh, it seems to be fine. You just basically target Malefic Monster Grave at Special Summon it, and uh, it is effects on the gate, and then banish it during the M phase. So you have to, it's better off to kind of use it for uh, an XC player or a Link player or something like that. And then we're running three Allure of Darkness just because all of the monsters are dark, except for Ash Blossom. Uh, three call by the grave just to stop your opponent uh, from using the graveyard and then the one pot of desires to uh, just draw two cards if you're in a rough situation the next card we have is if you have impermanence feel free to run impermanence but i use three lost wind it's just a budget version of impermanence you get to use it twice 
and your opponent loses half their attack and all that kind of stuff. And then I don't have skill drain, but Imperial Order kind of does the same thing, uh, except for skill drain stops the effects because none of them have real effects on the field, so it's good to use skill drain. Um, but Imperial Order stops spell cards, so that's a possibility as well. But uh, yeah, so that's it for the main deck. The main deck is 40, and uh, I'll get into the extra deck. There's a few cards I'm missing from the extra deck, but uh, well, the main one I'm missing is the Geo Mathemech level 12 Synchro Monster, um, which I don't have at the minute. But you can run that if you do have it. Um, and I'm missing another one of Malefic Paradox uh, Dragon. So what this one does is... Uh, let me see. Uh, when this card is Synchro Summoned, you can select Synchro Monster and either player's graveyard and special summon. It's going to be one face-up Malefic Paradox here. Um, if a face-up... If it's, you don't have Malefic World, destroy this card. So it's kind of only good to get rid of with the Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Um... Other than that, you're not really... The only the only reason I would use it is if I were to summon one of these other Synchro Monsters and he could special summon it back if it gets destroyed. So it's like a Monster Reborn. The next card we have is Dracoitis Corrupted Nether Solid Dragon. So this basically can't be shot by battle uh, or card effects and it inflicts stuff. So it can't be shot by battle. When this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle and sends it to grave, you can activate its effect. This card can make a second attack on your opponent once per turn. Uh, you can tag one face the monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half its current attack. And if you inflict damage equal to the last attack... Really, really strong cards. This one again can't be destroyed by card effects or battle, as far as I know. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You take no battle damage from attacks, and then it banishes everything again. Just turn. Um, then we have our this uh, banish fodder, which is two Stardust Dragon for Malefic Stardust Dragon. Uh, our rank tens are one Gustav Max, one uh, number eighty one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon uh, Dora. Uh, these are just destroy something and then uh, inflict uh, peer or damage to your opponent. You can run other stuff. Um, other rank 10s, the only other one I kind of recommend is you can run Dingarisu, I think, and then you can run the big metal guy, and you can run a Ravenous Spider. I can't remember what number it is, though, but that's another possibility you could do. Uh, and then the last one is the other two, Discard Fodder or Banish Fodder, which is for your Malefic Saber and Dragon. The only thing, like I said, I would change is I'd have Geo Mathmech, the, the level 12 one, and I'd have two uh, Malefic Paradox Dragons. Um, just because you are going to you probably use one um, and then banish the other one for Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Uh, you could banish two of them. That's the only thing I would change. Other than that, the extra deck isn't really too important. I'd maybe run something that stops your opponent from uh, using their field like um, like Skill Drain. Just because when your opponent can't use their field, it, kind of, it messes them up big time, especially like Sacred Beasts. Uh, but other than that, it's just a really fun deck. It's really cool. That's not Malefic Paradox Dragon. It's a really cool boss monster deck. And uh, Paradox is a really good card. The movie is a really good, a really good movie. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for other deck profiles. Uh, should be having two more, I think. At the minute, I have Fossils nearly made. And then I have Arm Dragon as well. So uh, as, as the poll. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, Discord. Uh, server link is in the description. And uh, yeah, and check out my YouTube page. Good luck.